people. Welcome to another edition of the New Breed Show, the world's best podcast show, whatever you want to call it, talking about everything new with you. I am one half of your hosting duo, Jay Horsecow. With me, I have my partner in crime, the notorious TIM. Tim, are you keeping warm? That is the question. Yeah. Freezing All to right. death over here in Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> He is quite cold. All right, so everybody, so in case you haven't judged by the title, in case you haven't judged by what's up on your screen, we are doing another episode of New Pretty. We have our host, Shane Heffley, with us. We have four con- contestants. We have Holiday Kirk. We have John Carr. We have Caleb. And we have Orion. So we're going to do it like Jeopardy, and we're just going to get going. So, Shane, I'm passing you the baton. You have the floor, brother. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so because uh, Holiday Kirk won last time, he's going to start uh, – the category selection this time, right? So holiday, what it'll be. Oh, let's introduce our category. Sorry. We've got female fronted international, which is a category where either all or none of the answers are playmo. We have rest in peace, influential Fuck. and farm club, which just means that all of the, the answers are bands that have played live at farm club. I love okay. that. I love that. The American bandstand of new metal. Okay. Does anyone have any questions before we go? Okay, I'll take it. Take it. Yeah, away. are you guys ready to lose? Are you guys ready to lose? I'm gonna go with Farm Club for 300. Farm Club for 300. All right. Pump was performed at Farm Club in 2000, but which band should have performed "Shut Him Down" or "I Shot Lucifer" off of their record "Armageddon" through your speakers? Oh, hold. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've got to reopen the buzzing because you got to wait till after the question. Give it a beat. Come on. I right. did, though. Oh, no. I it was, did. It was Orion that was number one, right? Didn't he? Yeah, but you, he were yeah, but not yeah, but you were finished still with the question. On. You were not finished with the question. I know on. the let answer, me, though. Let Gotta me, wait I, till the question's done me in red. Can I turn on the... Oh, I don't have the premium. I can't turn on this the... This episode is off to a great start. Hold on. Oh, and I just lost the game. Cut this out. Fucking Jay. Should just do it like we did last time in the chat. Just put it... No, I do think this is the way to go. I do think this is the way to go. All right, you're ready? Here we go. Armageddon through your speakers. Okay, this says Holiday Kirk was the first of us in. All right, Holiday, what is it? My timer didn't even start. Yeah, Neither hold on. I. My game got all screwy. Hold on. Oh, uh, we got to do a whole new game. Who is Bionic Jive? Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and just give Holiday the points for this. But yep. yeah, yeah, do you want to see right. a new game code? Yeah, hit the new game code, 769-883. Tim, you're going to have to fix it in post. Sorry, dude. Listen, guys, this is nobody's <laughs> first Zoom meeting. We're all used to some technical difficulties. Wait, so you want us to go into the new game? Yeah, let's go into the new all game. Right. All right, if this doesn't work this time, we're doing the chat, and that's it. All right, John's there. Orion's there. <laughs> Holiday Smirk is there. I did There's get that one, shame. Okay, we good? Uh, what you tripping Caleb. on? All right, we're good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, give Holiday points for that. This is Bionic, Bionic Jive. Good job. Who the hell is Bionic Jive? You know, from Bionic Chicago? Club band. Bionic Jive was good. Bionic Jive. Both albums. Mm-hmm. Bionic Jive took the um, like the Chicago style of like fast rapping the twist uh, and do or die sort of was doing and then made that new metal. And they got two albums out of it? Nah. No. Okay. Super meh. I like Bionic Jive. Holiday Kirk, you're on the boards here. Let's do international for 300. International for 300. Prog metal, jazz, and salsa are listed as the genres for these Puerto Ricans, releasing fundamental and union. Who is going to have to lay it clear? Dang it. Okay. Detox. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, very good. All right, excellent. Oh, 300, no. 300 points for you, sir. Oh, that was a zillion question. percent. Wait, you, that was that. easy, you man. Yes, and don't forget, it is what is who is. What is oh. who is. Don't forget. You got no, a you clicker. Don't. You no, got no, your no, own no, clicker no. over there. Wait, I thought you said I didn't have to answer. <laughs> no, in the form you of don't. Question. You don't have to answer oh, okay. in the form of questions because no I didn't. I didn't write the questions that way. You do for cool points. You do for cool points. Yes. I noticed I'm not cool. So. All right, shout out Detox Tube on YouTube. What you're up? Yes. Yay. Uh, do Farm Club for 500. Farm Club for 500. All right. Which hip hop group from the early 90s released a Spanish version of their song with the hook Con los ojos rojos un día vamos a morir. Escandalosos. 
And if you guys don't speak Spanish, I'm going to translate this roughly for you to help you out. Hold on. Orion Buzz. Oh, Give oh a wait, shot. Orion Buzz. Bu yeah, yeah, yes. Orion. Who is east side? That is incorrect. Dang so it, you will right. go minus 500. Yeah. Okay. Right. Which you gave to Detox for some reason. Oh. Yeah, Jesus you gave that Christ. to Detox. Yay! Oh, You're not saying anything. All right, here we go. Thank you. Thank you for covering that. Dude, I'm like out on this. I have no idea. All right, time is up. All right. This is uh, with red eyes, we are going to die. Does anyone know the song called Tequila Sunrise? What? No. No. Tequila Sunrise by Cypress oh, Hill. Oh, Cypress Hill. Oh. Bloodshot eyes realize we're all going to born to die. Okay. All right. I knew Next. that. Right. <laughs> that, was, that was a 500 question right there. Yeah. That, that was, was definitely. Uh, now we was. know that 500 is, in fact, the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that means detox is on the boards here. Let's do rest in peace for 100. Rest in peace for 100. Dobbs, who sadly passed away in a car crash in 98, was the mascot for his band. Who else was in the car? Wait, uh, I... It says Orion was number Orion one. Orion got it, yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. Orion. Who is Lynn Strait? Good job. All right. All right, you're up. Oh, uh, female fronted for 400. Female fronted 400. Which band featured the grit and talent <laughs> oh. of Shannon Harris on the single Make Me Suffer in 2001? Dang it! Okay, Holiday Smirk. Who is Spike 1000? Could you imagine if I got that wrong? With them. I, made, I made this so easy, guys, so hopefully... Yeah, I we didn't have any to make it successful. That 500, that 500 yeah. question wasn't easy. This so is also the first board, so it gets, <laughs> it gets harder. All right, so good, uh, good job, Smirk. Go ahead. Category. International 400. International 400. The Voldemort of New Metal, which Welsh band was wiped away from the scene due to the lead singer's horrific crime for which he serves 29 years and six years parole. Oh. Orion. Who is Lost Prophets? Of course. Yes. Good job. Is he out of jail? I no. used to love that band no, so still, much. No, still in uh, that first album had a couple great tracks. That second album was like a Dude, those a, first a two rock, albums were like amazing pop rock, to me in middle amazing. school. Amazing. Yeah. I saw them live. Oh, I'm sorry like to hear that. Ozfest yeah. 02. So you could have killed him. I could have. Yeah, yeah I saw chance. them open for, uh, I think it was Taking Back Sunday, I think, wow. at the Electric Factory. It was, yeah. they played People. right after the Apex Theory. Let me ask you something. If knowing now, if you knew now what you knew, what, if you knew then what you knew now, would you take him out? If I had the no. opportunity, I mean, I was like 19. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I would have fired a beer at him, but that would. If, I had, if I had a clear shot and nobody in my way, okay, yeah, we'll go. I would have took his band members aside and been like, "Just think about this." Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, but the Just problem is, then you would have gone to prison. <laughs> yeah, so I'd have yeah. been like, "Keep, keep yeah. an eye on this guy." All right, does that pull Orion out of the doghouse? Yes. 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 Orion is yeah. here. Okay, so Orion category, sir. Uh, let's go influential for three hundred. Influential for three hundred. Which New York band released albums Driver Not Included and Tragic in 95 and 96, respectively? Orion. I feel I know this. Who is Orange 9mm? Of course. Thank Ooh, you. All right. He's back ahead. in Next. the game. Oh, yeah. I knew he wasn't going to stay in the negatives for long. <laughs> Yo, this shit is hard. Right, Caleb? Buzzing it is fucking hard, man. It's hard to right. get it right. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. Tim, and also these questions are much easier than what you and I had. Yeah, this I know. Horseshit. I'd be smoking this right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Go on, Shane. No, it's up to uh, Orion. Category. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good, man. Uh, rest in peace for 500. Rest in peace 500. Which guitarist guessed on Executioners? It's going down. Which also features Mr. Han in 202. Orion. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold stuck. on. It's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Okay, oh, yeah. hold on. Clear buzzers. Reset. Read I'm gonna the start question again. again. Yeah, read the question again. Which guitarist guessed on Executioners? It's going down. Which also features Mr. Han in 202. Orion. What? Who is Wayne Static? <laughs> of course. Yeah. I mean, this too easy. All right. Good job. 500 in my ass. Jesus. <laughs> didn't you receive right. your credit for that? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I added points for you. Well, because he didn't. No, I mean, Wayne I Static. No, he Wayne didn't actually for that? play. He didn't play on the song. He just was in the video. Oh, oh. what? Yeah. yeah. Except that that was Mike Shinoda, right? It's going down. Yeah. 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 yeah it is. It's the yeah. Executioners featuring Link, uh, featuring I just Mike Shinoda. I think. playing on the song, too. I'm pretty sure he's just in the video. 
Oh, yeah. dude, I think that he actually does play, but I don't. I, I'm not those, gonna go. Well, I mean, the, the, the riffs aren't shirt. complicated. Know, so anybody could play. There, it. Anybody could have played bam. that song. Yeah, Tim, when you're when you're done making a drink, fact check that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So All right. Orion, you're gotcha. on the boards again, sir. All right. Female fronted for five hundred. <clears throat> Female fronted 500, which German rock band with front woman Sandra Nasik released Walking on a Thin Line in 03 with singles You Can't Stop Me and Pretty in Scarlet. Detox. Guano Apes. Good. Oh, I knew oh, thank you. I'm so glad. Oh, Good job. That's 500 wow. points for you, sir. All right. <laughs> that, was, that was definitely a 500 point question. Wait, before. Tim, was that a good wow or was that a bad wow? I, I'm, I, I can't believe how quick he got that. I, mean, I, really I like saw I saw really walking good. on a thin line. I was like, I know who that is. Good I job. Can't. I'm proud no, of you. I had no idea. All right, Detox Tube, you're up. Farm Club, 400. Farm Club, 400. It doesn't take 20 seconds into their 2000 live performance of Farm Club for Omar to lose his guitar. Something tells me Cedric is used to it by now. Name the band or the song performed. Yeah, Holidays. Holiday. Come on, baby. At the drive-in. Course. Yes. I love uh, that the drive. Let's go. Then. I know one of their songs. You did good. Okay, Smirk, you're up. Get international for 200. International 200. If you reach back into your mind and grab what you left inside, you might recall you've heard these Canadian rockers who released "Inch from the Mainline" 2000. Mm. Orion. Who is Slaves on Dope? Of course. I hate these ones where I know. Orion knows the answer, and it's just about the space bar. Who can get to the space bar first? And no, 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 no. I got. Yeah, I'm close. Yeah, this motherfucker's cheating now. He's got. He's got the clicker. He's got the fucking. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, using, I'm using a mouse. This, this is, mean, this is karma for all the shit Holiday Kirk talked when he smoked Tim and I. This is karma right here. Oh, Canadian good. American head charge. What kind of blasphemy is that? <laughs> they, there's no the industrial band. elements in Slaves on Dope. I like Slaves on Dope, but I, I, I like didn't, Slaves on Dope I too. I, I got a hot take. I think Klepto is better than Inches from the Mainline. Oh, yes, actually, yeah. I think so. I kind of think Metaphor is better than Inches from the Mainline. And I mm. think they all suck. Let's get <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> Wasn't into it. Sorry. I'll try again. Right, though. I will. You also don't like Reveille's Bleed the Sky, so I mean. You don't like Reveille. That's, yeah. I was listening to that today. I was like, first track, hell yeah. Second track, hell yeah. Third track, let's see what else I got to listen to. It's got your <laughs> yeah. precious Scooter Ward on track. Two tracks, and he's not good on it. Who's got the next oh. category? Let's go. We back on the board. Come on. Okay, I believe I it is uh, Ryan. Yes. All right, let's yeah. just do this. International for 500. International 500. Which Italian group released Too Much Happiness Makes Kids Paranoid in 2000? Holiday Smirk. It was Linnea 77. Yeah. Good job. Yes. Terrible band. Terrible. What? Oh! Wrong. That's wrong. Do you know this record? Guilty. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know if I've ever heard a Linnea 77 song. Yikes. Okay. Big yikes. Uh, right first two albums are great. The rest of cutting was downhill. All right. <laughs> Holiday. He left. Holiday just left. He went to go oh! make his uh, salmon. The slander. Yeah, dude. That record's good. It's good. The slander. That is a good salmon. album. Catch up suicide and that album. Good albums. Oh, all right, fine. I respect get this. a international it's 100. Let's get it. International. I made the international category specifically to feature Sunk Lodo again, but things have gone from bad to worse. Which other Aussie rockers put out the prize recruit in 2001 featuring single bullet? Mm. All right. Who is super heist? Can, Good job. No, when this comes out, I'm going frame by frame because I think he's hitting it soon. Someone needs to get it right when he finishes the it. question. <laughs> Well, the, the problem is it needs to do what real Jeopardy buzzers do, where if two people hit at the same time, it cancels those two out. Right. That, But it doesn't do that. But whatever. I'm, I'm not paying the right same hardware all of your question. fucking houses. <laughs> yeah, we got We get boxes in the mail. Like, as soon as he hits the T at the end of bullet, I just went. All right. Oh, wait, no, I'm clear, giving clear it to that. you, bro. I'm giving it to you, bro. I'll give it to you. Okay, bro. quick question. Is Are my scores, are we up to date? Is this correct? We got Detox at 800, Caleb without a buzz in. Kirk at 1200. And Didn't Orion, Orion just get points? I, oh, I wait, no, it was 100, time. wasn't it? Yeah, I was, was down 500 at the beginning of the game because I was cocky. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, no, I know that. <laughs> times. Oh, maybe you were at 1,000 and now you're 11. Okay, I got, I got you. Okay, all right. All right, who got that? It was Orion? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, rest in peace, 400. Rest in peace, 400. Known for wearing a T-shirt that said, Worship Satan and Smoke Crack, which vocalist died of heart failure in 2002? Dimebag gave him the nickname Stage for his great stage personality. His band went through several replacements until they landed on Dallas legend Jason Moreno of Plastic Tongue. Detox. 
Dave Williams. Exactly. Oh, okay. I was wondering. I in my brain, I just went Dave the stage. I couldn't remember his last name. I don't know if I could have could have took that if I could have remembered his last name. That band was terrible, by the way. I, the, the details that you gave kind of threw me right. for loops. So I was just like, we're gonna take I a thought, pause. I thought Sinner was okay. We're all gonna take a pause. We're gonna go to commercial break or something. Okay. What did you say about Drowning Pool? That's terrible. It's terrible. What? I'm not. To be mm. honest, I'm from Dallas. I'm not even a huge. Fan. No, I it's terrible. I, I mean, think wait, 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 wait. I think they're gentlemen, overrated. Gentlemen, Granted, I think, they're I think bad, Sinner though. is a gentlemen. great album, but everything after that went really downhill. Let's let's start with the obvious. Clearing the rest of their albums yeah. out. Just they made one album and broke up. Let's pretend that they're still yeah. off. Yes. Okay. Have you heard that's the indie yeah. albums that's before yes, Center? Actually, no, I haven't. They're very good. I think Center is decent. Good. I just before we dive back in, I'm going to ask a question to each one of you. Don't overthink it. Just give me your gut. Shane, I'm going to start with you. Okay. Band's lead singer dies. They replace the lead singer. Can they ever recapture previous glory? Yes or no? No. So, Holiday Kirk, same question. Got it. No, you got to move on because I can think of one. Uh, I mean, ACDC. <sighs> Duh. Uh, so your answer is yes. Yeah. John. But, but the, they're the yes. ultimate. Uh, it depends on how early it happens, though. Caleb. Uh, yes, I would say, yeah. Orion? Depends on the band. Now, see, That's fair. If someone, yes. can, can anyone name a, another band besides ACDC? That they replaced their lead singer and they went on to equal or a greater fame? Yes. Um, there has to be other examples. We're Hope's recording. Fault. I can't say who I really Someone's want to say. Someone's pointing at something, um, but... Static Hope's X. Fault, when they replaced Ryan Parrish with um, uh, Jay Forrest. Hope's Fall? Yeah. Uh, Tim, can I get a ruling on that? Oh, absolutely, you can. Yeah, I mean you, you can't agree? replace you can't replace Cat. you can't replace Chino, but yeah. any other. Yeah. I mean, no, yeah. you cannot replace Chino. Jesus, no. do you no. imagine re them replacing Chino with like Holiday Kirk or something? Well, I mean, there I were would... like there were like fifteen Deftones ripoff. Imagine bands Deftones metal. with Kevin they Palmer from Trust Company. Trust Company. Ooh, I don't think he's got the range. I would get my Deftones tattoo lasered <laughs> off. <if that> <laughs> <happened>. <laughs> um. All right, all right. Let's do the next one. Who? Who's, who's got it? The top. Oh, oh, I won. Um, let's do Influential for 100. Influential 100. What is the title of the track released by Mac, Mike Patton and Gang in 89 that had something to do with new metal? A detox. Uh, wait. This is the most. Oh, it's the track. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, name the track title. Epic? Correct. Okay. Oh, okay. I almost want to say the What's name of the album, but okay. <laughs> it's something to do. They're with more it. like they're <laughs> one of those bands who's always name dropped. They're as like they influence oh, yeah, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, yeah, I've never yeah really Corn, Corn talks really about them and care. Mr. Bungle and all those bands. All right, detox. Uh, rest in peace for three hundred. Rip three hundred, possessing a three octave tenor vocal range, beginning at the lowest note G two and reaching its peak at the highest note G five. Who left us in July twenty seventeen? Holiday. Uh, who who is Chester Bennington? Correct. Oh, okay. all right, Holiday. Yeah. Back in it. Here we go. Let me get Farm Club for two hundred. Two hundred. Who designed the cover art for Lint Biscuit's The Unquestionable Truth Part One? Come on. Oh, oh no, no buzzes? Idea. Come on. Oh, these are all free. Every question's free. There oh, we no, go. Nobody? Is it West okay. Borland? Of course it's West Borland. It's West Borland. Wait, what? Oh, oh yeah. I overthought it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink these. Oh, dang it. Man. I was ready to say, I was like, I was ready to be like Todd McFarlane. I was ready to like, say that like, was my, that was my guess. Like okay. Topic violin? That would have been wrong as fuck. So is it me again? Holidaykirk.com, 1,500 points. You're on <laughs> the get, boards. Let me get farmclub.com for 100. Farm Club, 100. Name any two of the nine songs off of Stain's 99 Dysfunction. Caleb. Uh, much of all and uh, me. He's on the board. He's on the fucking Let's board, go. baby. Good job. All right, Caleb with 100 points. Next category, sir. Finally, uh, let's see. We'll go with uh, we'll go with rest in peace 200. Rip 200. What is the organization that promotes seatbelt awareness founded in 2013 after bassist Chi Chang passed away in a car accident in 08? Oh, 
Oh, dude. That's a good question. Thank you. We're all fake. Yeah. <laughs> we suck. All right. Buckle up for Chi. Oh, oh guys. Okay. I would have never guessed that. I'd have got that Tim, wrong, man. Yeah. Tim's just waiting to talk shit. And it's a guy. I, I don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Caleb, you're up. I only knew that because they're my fair bit. <laughs> Uh, you're on mute, Caleb. We can't hear you. Uh, female fronted 100. There you go. What 2000 album was released by Morgan Fallon, Tanya, Mercedes? No. Dang Detox. It, God damn it. Spit by Kitty. Of course. Yes. Easy. All right. Wait. Yeah, yeah that's why it. we that all again? buzzed. That was Detox, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was Detox. Okay, good. Okay. You're on the board, sir. Uh, let's do Influential for 500. 500. Many regard Korn's self titled release in October 94, the first nu metal record. Yet, January of the same year, POD released their first record, which was re released in 99. What was the title of this Christian record? Some may argue as the actually first nu metal album. Actually. Well, yay! Holiday. You went in before. I... Holiday. What is brown? Ooh, minus points. That is incorrect. Don't be snuffed. It's going to. Oh. Does someone else want to buy Orion? Orion? Yes. Orion? Yes. What is the fundamental elements of Southtown? That is incorrect. Minus what? 500 mm. points. No. Mm. Oh, Somebody called DJ Scribble. Oh, wait. Uh, Detox. Detox. Uh, snuff the Punk. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, man. I knew you were going to say that. I misread the question. See, here's a, here's a spoiler. Oh. I was going to say brown, but Kirk fucking up. Helped. Thank you, Kirk. <laughs> Somewhere, Scribble is yelling at his computer. <laughs> yelling at his computer right now. I'm uh, yelling at my computer. <laughs> I am internally screaming. My little note here. Oh! I'm the real. I like Brown. Brown is actually I a really good record. I can't believe. Oh, I was. It was in my brain. So I'm I both titles. I am actually mentally. Re- I can't say that. You did, you Dude, I would have like 2,500 at this point. Yeah. Don't I lie. Would actually be wiping the. Really easy talk shit from the from the bleachers, isn't it? <laughs> All right, detox here up, sir. Uh, influential for 200. Influential, 200. Pantera's Walk was written as a bridge for listeners to groove metal. Chosen as a single to broaden their audience as Cowboys from Hell wasn't considered accessible. Name any other song on 92's vulgar display of power. I'll name the whole record, God damn. Yeah, no no watch shit, that. Caleb. Uh, Caleb. Uh, Falling uh, off his dial up. for war. That'll, that'll do. All right, good job. Caleb, pick a category. He's yelling Which at his mom to get off the phone. Let's go with, let's go with influential 400. Good 400. One. Rick Rubin departed from producing Beastie Boys sophomore record Paul's Boutique because at the time they were thought to be one hit wonders. Now regarded as the Sergeant Pepper of hip hop, what year was this record released? Smirk. I, I think even with if I got everything on the board, I don't know if I'd win. So I think I'm gonna just swing at this fucker. Okay, year. 1989. That is correct, sir. Boom! Good job. Oh man! Hell yeah, baby! Good job, Hell sir. yeah, baby! Woo! <laughs> fuck yeah! Okay, That's pick- the fuck I'm talking about. Pick which Paul's category boutique, you want next. motherfuckers. Well, Hold you know, on, there, me, you know, there's another round. Yeah, there's another yeah, there's round. Rounds. Hey, just, just, there's two rounds. Everyone's getting a little Everyone just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Female fronted 300. Female fronted 300. Which album recorded in 05 had a song titled Fully Alive that is about Layla Palmer, wife of Kevin Palmer of Trust Company? All right. Who is Flyleaf? Good job. I yeah, Flyleaf by no Flyleaf. It's self titled. That, that was some deep lore right there. Yeah, you that like was that? the most hype click I've ever seen. If you <laughs> had, he would have been mad had, as shit. You don't even you know that. Ryan, I got I'm a question for you. I'm on edge right now. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's Ryan, if, I got a question for you. If if the title "Fully Alive" wasn't in there, would you still have gotten that? Yes, because I know the backstory for that song. Yeah, wow, because he's right. a goddamn encyclopedia. Is no, this the I, one with, I wouldn't have got that. Is this the one with the, the thing that the eye doctor uses on the cover? Is that no, Fly that's Flybanger. Oh, I'm sorry. Hell yeah. Leaf Banger, two extremely yeah. different bands. Sorry, yes, Leaf Banger. Way whatever. too different. One's actually good. Wow. 
Okay. All right. Female front at 200. Is everyone ready? Yes. Oh. In 2007, which group fronted by Maria Brink released their record, Beautiful Tragedy, included singles Prayers and Daddy's Fallen Angel? Orion. Who is in this moment? Good job. Okay. The I final scores notes. are Detox Tube, 1900, Caleb, 300, Holiday Kirk, 1400, Orion, 1100. Next round, all of the all of the points are doubled, and remember, uh, they're still final Jeopardy. It's become dangerous now. Um, <laughs> do, would we like to take a bathroom and a beer break or whatever? No. Nope. We start the next. I round need to do some push-ups or cowards. something. Go, because I'm yeah, on you, edge. You want me to hum a song while you guys are? Uh... Yeah, take a. Take, you know what? While uh, everybody go to the bathroom, get a beer. And yeah, let me just do, go to the bathroom. Tim and I'll vamp. Um, yeah, definitely. So, Tim, what are your thoughts on this first round th- so far? I'm I'm very mad at Shane for not having these questions last time because I pretty I, not even lying I knew a lot of these yeah I'm no shit like, right I right the last last time it was shit. like hold on let me mute Shane so he can't talk shit last time it was like yo what wow. obscure Gibraltar new metal band <laughs> put out an album that was half polka with a fucking harpsichord and the lead <laughs> singer was killed in a tragic accordion accident in 1997. And we're like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then Holiday's sitting there grinning like, oh, well, duh, it was this band with this album at this date. And it's like, yo, come on, man. I don't think it was like quite the beat down you remember it being. I remember there being ports or points where I'm like pretty far down. But this one, you know, it's funny that me and Orion would finish this losing to Detox because Detox. I'm better than you. <laughs> if, if, oh, if, I get that or, if I get that orgy question, I win. So you're right. I wasn't that far Tim's off. eventually going to die. It's going to be here lies Tim Anderson <laughs> Jr. If he'd gotten the orgy question, <laughs> Holiday would never have talked <laughs> shit. <laughs> if I wasn't down 500 points at the beginning of the game, I would have won to Kirk. All right. True. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but that's my fault. So. All right, right. So before we before we kick off round two, let's give a round of introductions like typical Jeopardy does, where we go around and talk about the players. So Shane, why don't you introduce yourself first? Hi, my name's Waffle Bro. Uh, I'm a HolidayKirk.com fanboy. Uh, I make new new metal Jeopardy boards for my favorite podcast, uh, New Breed uh, Podcast.com. And okay. what's your favorite new metal album of all time? And my favorite new metal album of all time is is. <laughs> Every single Rage Against the Machine album. It's not new metal. Wrong. That's not new oh, metal. Again, not new metal. Sorry. Wrong. Not new metal. Wrong. Go again. Go again. Wrong. Headstrong by Headstrong. All right. Ooh, okay. Fair enough. All right. Holiday I was, gonna, I was about to say, I was like, that's not a trapped album. That's, that was a song. <laughs> yes. Nice. All right. I'm going to check the head. Uh, hello. Holiday Kirk, Los Angeles, California. New metal singer, writer, musician, editor, consultant. Uh, I wrote a gigantic 5,000 word list about the 100 greatest new metal songs of all time, which has been entered into the Encyclopedia Britannica as factually correct. <laughs> and I also have a good album out of new metal that I made recently. <laughs> and my favorite new metal album of all time is The War of Art by American Head Charge. I, good I pick. Just, that was my favorite new metal album. It's still second. Is this? Wait, hold on. Jay, did you have something to say about I have I have nothing to say at this juncture that's going to be productive in any kind. I'm going to kick the baton over Jay, to Jonathan. Jay, did you have something to say about that? Do we, or, I think Jay needs to say something there. I, hey, I've had, I, in the last week, I had fucking Doc Coyle telling me that American Head Charge is great and I'm wrong. So maybe I got to rethink this. I think Jonathan, we discussed this on the industrial episode. Too. I think we did. Yes. Um. Yeah, I'm John, mostly known as Detox. Um. Yeah, uh, man of the internet, and apparently the smartest person who knows new metal. Um, <laughs> we'll see what happens at the end. Bruce, don't lie, I got it. Hey, oh, favorite-, uh, favorite new metal album of all time, Chamber Music by Cole Chamber. Suck it, hell yeah! Wait a minute, wow. Didn't great you, record. Wait, have you ever on Twitter said to me that you think that's the best new metal album of all time? I don't remember. I do you think it is? Yes, <laughs> what so it was okay, interesting. Dead ass wrong, but I do think that that's an interesting take. <laughs> that is interesting. It's a good album too. It's better. Than I also I have Unloco's healing in my top ten. So I mean, Woo! I could just be wrong. Fuck yeah, <laughs> Jesus. I guess Jesus. we should go straight to Orion after that one. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Caleb, you're up. Caleb. Uh, yeah. Uh, Caleb. I, you know, I don't know. I just like new metal. I don't know. My How old are you, Caleb? Movie, uh, oh, there he is. How old are you guys? Oh, he's a youngin. He's like Orion. Yeah, I'm oh, 16. come on. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, shit. Anyways. Caleb, favorite new metal album? 
this is about to be the most basic choice, but it, it's a uh, corn self title. That's, that's not basic. That's OG. That's it is OG. Basic. I would say that's, that's OG. OG. Basic does not exist. No. Yeah, that, that record is incredible. So don't, don't no, ever feel basic, like you're basic. You would have said like hybrid theory. Drowning pool. Uh, <laughs> o- Orion. Winner's a great album. <laughs> yeah, yeah Kale, just up. know that Jay is like four times your age. So. <laughs> And four times as dumb. <laughs> Probably. That's fine. All right, and you're up. Who wants to tell Holiday Kirk that when we do his album deep dive, we're just going to complain about every single track for an hour? Okay, moving along. Orion, you're up. Hi, uh, my name is Orion. I am the mastermind behind New Metal Project Drop Spike, as well as the drum and bass group Orion with three eyes. I'm from Undescript Location, Florida, and my favorite New Metal album of all time is obviously this. Yeah, look at him. Physical copy king over there. Yeah, Deep spaceships up. and airplanes, man. Favorite song of all time. This oh, man's uh, got him. This man's I'm not got just, him. I'm not just saying this because you guys are on here, but I very much enjoy the stuff you guys are putting out. Seriously, it's good. I was very impressed with that drop spike stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah, the drop spike stuff is very good. Holiday Kirk stuff's okay. No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, that record is super fun, the Holiday Kirk one. That is super oh, dude, fun. I, love, I, I am love joking. Here, dude. But that's the best part about it. The show is I'm in like an actual fan of everyone on the channel. Like literally, everyone is like doing content, and I'm an actual like follower and fan of all. So I think that's just fucking badass. Speaking of content, I mean D- detox. Didn't you just you posted something on YouTube that got me into a band, right? Which thing? It was a Japanese band. Um, wait, what? <laughs> no, it's definitely not you, cruel. You've been posting that albums to your not, YouTube channel. Yeah, no, I, have been, I have been posting albums to the... I've been trying to find... Because there's so many YouTube, uh, new metal YouTube channels now. I've been trying to find albums that they're not posting for whatever reason. And I'm That's like, I'll post it. them. Fuck it. Uh, I don't know which recent one you liked. Wow. Who would have thought searching detox on YouTube wouldn't produce your channel? Jeez. Yeah, I know it's crazy. It's With my two hundred and something subs, a lot of juice cleanses here, dude. Do <laughs> not think that I didn't see that one cute one you did with the eleven plus fifteen shit. The fucking meme lord, the twenty six reasons why. Uh, oh yeah, that page. was ah uh, that had so many views, bro, and so many angry on, comments. That was an actual for war a on joke you. video. Oh, the why Limp Biscuit is better than Rage. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that was such a great video. Yeah. I did it. I did it almost point. solely because of the uh, the other new te- new metal Discord. That person who kept talking about how Rage Against the Machine was the best band in the world and kept shitting on Limp Bizkit. Oh yeah, that guy. Uh, no, <laughs> I just I did it specifically for them and then posted it in the Discord. Oh, uh, that that fell apart quickly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. I I loved Rage, but. Hey, we're gonna we're we're against capitalism. Forty five dollar t shirts. Rageagainstmachine.com. Yeah, yeah. I have a thing about that. All right, I I don't right, like I, Rage Against the Machine because of their attitude towards new metal and specifically Tim Comerford's attitude towards Limp Biscuit. Eh, whatever. He was drunk. You can't really hold it against him. And you know oh, what? Yeah. Drunk when he said that. Oh, he Fucking was drunk and, and not for nothing. Thing. Yeah, uh, where he climbed the. I, 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 in all seriousness, I do really think that Zach. It's Zach. Every. Everything I've heard from people who have run into him in real life says he's actually like a really nice guy. Like he's not an asshole. Oh, that's that's yeah. Good. Like no, when he left genius. the band, that's why he basically just disappeared. And because he it's, wants to. It's live weird life. that of all but, the people in the band, when you look in the public eye, he's kind of the least outspoken. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And really. Tom Morello just doesn't. I mean. He yeah. Shut up. He's, he's a he's a, a real he's a guy. Work. So all right. I so following him, Tim. Before we jump into round two, want to. Who are we betting? Who do you think is going to win the whole thing? Uh, John, oh he's killing God. it. Now, I think I'm going to, something's going to happen this round. Uh, my guess is going to be Orion's going to come from behind. Be, you know what my main issue is? I'm looking at the categories. I see 2020s. I'm a little worried. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah, that's uh, a scary one. That's it's five questions, one. and each I question is one I keep enough eye on new stuff. No, They're it's 2020s is mean. five questions. New adjacent, I might be okay at. All the answers are one of uh, New adjacent does, does not song. exist. All right, let's get oh, it going. Who goes let's first? Do this, let's do this. Who was the oh, last? Who, who was last? Who was the last person? I actually don't remember. Uh, I think was it was me? Detox, actually. Was it Caleb? Sure it was, it was yeah, detox, I think it was Caleb. Caleb, take it. Let Caleb take it. Fuck it. Yeah, go, go ahead, Caleb. All right. Uh, 
Let's do finish the lyric 400. Finish the lyric for 400. Borrowed dreams of some imagined future blank inside this borrowed hope. Oh, no. Orion. Wait, no, I, uh, all wrapped up. Yeah. Okay, good. good job. I have no idea what that... Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you have wait, to... Wait, 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 time finish? out, time out. Oh, it is the lyric. That is the lyric. Okay, my bad. That's, my bad. Isn't it American head charge? It's American. It's America, America head charge. charge. It is. America yeah, head charge is two words. Way yes. off. So yeah, you got to deduct off. points from your score. I thought it was I American as head the host. It is. It's it America. Is. It's it's no, either way, it's American, it American I mean, I really don't care, head charge. But it yeah. sucks either way. But all right, moving along. The big can. Wow. That. Okay, okay. Ryan. <laughs> oh, um, hidden gems one thousand. Hidden gems one thousand. Also, right. the buzzer is stuck. What band? Oh, can we redo the buzzer? Done. What band steamrolled their way to Ozfest with their record "A Search for Reason" in '98? And Jay, if you want to, will you give me the <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, my yeah, man? Yeah. Caleb. There we go. Hell yeah, Caleb. Oh, uh, I'm trying to think. I know this. It's like right on the tip of my tongue right now. Um, come on, get. Come on, kid, get it. You got it, Caleb. I get, oh my gosh, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was listening to this literally like two days ago. I can let him cook because I don't know it. It's, um, I'm, I'm blanking out. Like like the. Mm. Can I give him a hint? Yeah, give him a hint. Kurt Vonnegut, main character. They had a two word name that got cut down to one word. The second name was originally Smudge. Uh. If nobody else knows it, fuck it, Shane. I'm answering for it. No, no, I, I, I thought it's it. It's got to go to detox. All right. Oh, got it. I, yeah. I, I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Let detox answer. I got Caleb. Caleb's got wait, wait, it. Wait, who, who, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I, I got it. Okay. Go. It, can, can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. Who is Kilgore? There we go. go. He was so worried. I would have never gotten that. He was so yeah. worried. Was gonna get out. Look at that. One, right. one question. Never, he's up there with you guys. I love it. Never even heard of him. All right. What? Wait, time time out. Time out. Oh, just a heads up. My timer never went down during that thing. I just buzzed Neither in. Neither did mine. Time out. Holiday, you never heard Kilgore? Search for Ryan. You've heard of Kilgore? No. Bro. We'll get up on it. We'll get up on it. They're old and they only had one album. That's my new shit. They did have one album. I actually saw them and at the WSOU 10th anniversary birthday bash in 94 when they were still Kilgore Smudge playing oh in God. between five seconds expired and Bile. That's a really oh, bile. bile. That's a bop. I know Bile. Bile. Yeah, I know Bile too. I wish that, I didn't, but. Uh, Techno Horror is a great album. The original EP, Suck Pump, is great. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, moving All right, along. Caleb, with the 1,000-point jump, Jesus. putting him squarely Dark Horse. In, in the game. Next <laughs> category, it. sir. Caleb's taking it. Let's do. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. I'm gonna go with hidden gems uh, 400. Wait, what was that? I'm sorry. Hidden gems for four. Hidden gems 400. Get all. Yes, wait, out. reset the buzzer, please. Reset the buzzer. Thank you. Oh, all right. That was my bad. Sorry. Go yes, go. It says lost. 2002. What was the only single of Down the Sun self-titled release? Don't confuse this one with Endangered Species record opening "Ripper" by Flaw. Orion. What is medicated? That's right. That's true. Can anyone name Also, the, the one on the flaw record is medicate. Thank you. All right. This is my, my man. He's an encyclopedia. I'm a fan, dude. Let's go. <laughs> you guys, is one of my favorite be... new metal bands, bro. Bro, so, you're making the boards next time. Oh, we got to. He actually, we spoke to him. He's going to come on the show. Chris Holt? Uh, no. Cube from uh, Down the Sun. Oh. oh. Okay. Really? Yeah. That'd be cool. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. We reached nice. out. I nice reached job, out guys. out of nowhere. And he was like, hey, yeah, I'll come on. Let's talk. I'm trying ask to him about questions. common diseases of swine. Oh, I'm going to ask all of you guys to come in for questions because, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. That's why, that's why we're the best new metal podcast because we get yeah. cool interviews. Fuck like yeah. This. Oh, there's a Rage Against the Machine. Bro, you had, you, had that. Uh, you know what? Rage Against the Machine 200. Here. Yo, and, and I know he's probably not listening, but if he is listening, shout out to Doc Coyle. Honestly, guys, he was the coolest dude. We reached out blind, and I sent him a blurb about what we wanted to come on. He didn't say, like, yo, what's your what's your reach or what is your fan base? The first thing he said was, yo, I can fit you in on this day. Like, he was so cool about it, which was really fucking awesome. 
Bro, really I, awesome I know shit. this ep- episode cool. won't come out next, so we won't necessarily follow. But like, I feel like such a no talent ass clown. Like, dude, you have Doc on the cast, and then you have like literally me. <laughs> like, what uh, what listen, if I'm like, like, if fucking shit, lose this, so this episode's hardcore. never coming out. You'll hear from my <laughs> lawyers. You understand? This shit. Never All right, happened. what if I win then? It'll come out. Bro, Just can't out. come in last. <laughs> Just can't come in last. All right. All right. You guys Pick don't know. Let's go. The man wanted Rage 200. Okay, Rage 200. What country is Raging Against the Machine referring to as the Evil Empire in their sophomore record? Holiday. Holiday. Answer the question. He just buzzed in. Is he on mute? No, I know. No, I'm here. I'm just. I'm just thinking about it. (laughs) Evil Empire. He's sweating. Just thinking about it. My question is: Why is this band in new metal? In in the new metal. Very important. Because I I took the liberties. Uh, Stop making it. the boards. To what fucking country? I swear this this answer has got to be like super obscure or like we're overthinking uh, this. Yeah. No, don't give me the hints, dude. I'm gonna it's go not- with America. Okay, good job. Obviously. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was what yeah! it, it wasn't oh, gonna be. Who'd have fucking, thought? God it wasn't damn. gonna be fucking Andorra. Let's be honest here. Yeah. Right. I mean, it could have been like. You know, that was, that was the easiest question on here. Yeah, that was the easiest question. <laughs> okay, I over- that's why it was firmly 200. All right, Kirk. Hidden Gems, 200. Hidden Gems, 200. Two Angels in a Dream came out in 2003, just a little too late to catch a big wave. What band from California released single from the inside? Orion. Depth Swap. Who is Depth Swap? So I didn't sweet. know from the inside you guys, was a did single. You guys, I, yeah. I that, was the, that. that was the first single, yeah. I thought yeah. First Time was the first single. You guys should have seen Orion smile when he saw that question. He was like this. Yeah, these Dude, are freebies. You don't even know how much that record means to me, man. No, I do. That's why you were looking like that. You were like, it's a really good record. I know this, I know this. All right, Orion. Next. Dope. Uh let's go Hidden Gem 600. Hidden Gem 600. Song titled Diamond by Swift has 3,253 plays on Spotify, and I can confirm over a thousand of them are me. Name the album released by Swift and 99 from Tribunal Records. Ah, uh, great record. Orion. What is thoughts or thought? Of course, no, yes. These no, are no, 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 it's happening, everyone. it's happening. Yeah, this is uh, that. Dude, this you is put just a Swift question in there, you know Come I'm going to get it Shane. right. I've been listening to them all night. <laughs> speaking little... speaking of Tribunal, I, I'm getting the uh, dude who runs speaking that Speaking of label. Tribunal. Quick, do the next question. Go, come on, come on, come on. I want to show off. There you there go. go. There what it is. is that? School for Heroes and Cardinal Effect. They're tribunal bands. Cool. All right. You're up next, sir. Wasn't Prayer for Cleansing a tribunal band, Tim? Yeah. All, right. All these guys are like, huh? What? Uh, up again. Yeah, sorry. Hidden Gems 800. Hidden Gems 800. Confirmed by Chris Bowles in person to me after a show. Which band will never get back together to write more or perform after their first and only record released in 05 with Singles Pathetic and The Gift? Come on, Caleb. You got to know uh, this one. Detox. Five Bolt Main. There Five it is. With Same. dots good in the job. middle. Yes, good job. Just like that. All right, you're, you're up. Uh, let's do... Let's just pull the mandate off. 2020s for 400. 2020s, 400. What was the title of Nonpoint's album released in 2020 that contains demos and previous unreleased songs from 97? And Trip Inside Your Mind Feels Good. Orion. What is Separate Yourself? That's right. Good job. Oh, no. It's happening. All right. You're on the board, sir. What was Struggle? What do you mean, what was Struggle? That would be wrong. Moving on. Wait, no, 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 I know. I'm asking, like, was that not the original name of the demo? No, the, the wait, the demo? or The, the one album? that's on Spotify is called Separate Yourself, so. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay, never mind. All right, I'm just going to, New Adjacent 400. New Adjacent 400. New Jersey's prog metal emo band released five concept albums starting in 02, which were the soundtrack to the space opera, The Amory Wars. In the first record, the second stage of Turbine Blade, we see the sinister Mayo Wolf, Defton, Mayo Defton Wolf, convince the loving Kilgannons to murder their own children because they possess a dormant virus that will destroy the universe. What are the parents' names? Holiday. What? Wait. Holiday. What? <clears throat> oh, no. I thought it was naming the band. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> All right. I'll give everyone in here a five hundred dollars to just end this now. <laughs> and this never happened. My my PayPal address. I'll put it in chat. So the answer okay. probably is not Coheed and Cambria. What well, what is your answer? Coheed and Cambria. That is correct. Coheed and Cambria. Holy Gannon, fucking are shit. The parents Holy fucking shit. Nobody is going to know the lore of the shit. Amory Wars in here. Yes, Dude. seriously. I'll it's I like Coheed just yeah. as much as the next guy, but okay, that was look. my least favorite part about the band. It was Holy very God. clear that that was the name of the that was the the band, right? My hands are shaking. All right, like, Kirk, you're up next. I can't believe I got that. Okay, I think I should play it safe on this one. <laughs> Finish the lyric, one thousand. Finish the lyric, one. <laughs> play it safe, <laughs> one thousand. That's my man, right? Playing there. it safe. I can taste your innocence, young and sweet, like mother made you. Everything frozen to ice, these motherfuckers. Holiday. Dang it. Just got wicked. Fuck ah! yes, dude. I was hoping that you would ah! we go. <laughs> Bro, I was hoping so that you would give it give it to us. That right. was 1,000? That was catching up now. Okay, how was American head charge? Whoa, whoa, buddy, 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 buddy. buddy, buddy. You don't need to make excuses. <laughs> Time out. Wait a minute. Time out. Holiday Kirk. <laughs> Somebody comes up to your band and says, you can play at our venue tonight, but you need to cover something that's not new metal. What are you covering? Oh, it's not new metal? Stay far away, so close by you two. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what, that's it? Silence? Anything? Uh, I got nothing else to say. Snore. Uh, they're, they're fine. Eh. All right, Kirk, you're up next. Or how about um, Plowed by Sponge? I yes, would, that'd be a good great one. song. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Uh, finish the lyric 800 finish the lyric 800 here I come here I come out of the blue little bitch boy with blank here I come out of the blue talking up shit gonna see what the fuck I do holiday this would be the big fuck you yeah this is why holiday's gonna smash this dude right, smashing right. let's go this I is was obvious. not about to say the f word so <laughs> finish the lyric for 600 finish the lyric 600 I, I can't curse <clears throat> My name's Kobe Dick, Mr. Dick, it's nasty. <laughs> rock a mic with a voice that's raspy, and I'm poetic in my operations. My God given talent is to rock all the nations. Detox. We're coming to infest. Of course. And wrong! Now you get wrong! You no, fucking got it wrong! Wait, what? No, got one no, word that wrong. That was wrong. Come on. wrong! Oh, what did he say? I didn't actually hear it. So we're going he to said infest. we're coming to infest. Oh, dude, he got the... Fucking idea, idea. It's Yo, okay. similar oh. enough. Come on. Okay. <laughs> me throw in the Jeopardy, the Jeopardy podium over. God fucking damn it. I'm going to be honest. I always thought it was we're coming to infest. At this point, Holiday Kirk runs over and DDTs Alex Trebek like out of You're, pure You rage. know what? I will. Can I, can I fact, check, I'll fact check it later. There, okay. cool right we're, coming, we're coming to infest kind of makes more sense. All right, but it's fine. Cool points. If Both make sense. It doesn't matter. Mr. He won. He got nasty. it. No, no one else buzzed in. I buzzed in. Oh, okay. Well, of course I'm gonna do it. Moving on. No, we're moving on. I'm very <laughs> calm. I, I just fact checked that we're coming to infest. Ha! Oh, is it? Is that right? Yep. Oh shit. Okay. Well, it doesn't take that, so Kirk. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> time to do okay. it. Time to do my own. Tox, you're up. Uh, let's see. New adjacent. Two hundred. Wu Tang Clan has nine members. Name at least three. Holiday. Oh, Old dirty on. bastard. Okay, Method one, man, ghost face two. Killer. There we go. All right, Jesus. This is the this is only this is a 200 question. You right. god. Next one. Ghost face. Oh no, there's oh, no fucking man. next one Rizza, until the Papa yeah, Roach Rizza. one is done. Okay, I'm getting a going to infest from one lyric website. I got a going to infest. That's two lyric websites. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna go through your questions. Okay, he already got the points. Orion, do you have the the physical copy? Let's get the booklet out. Can we? <laughs> out that? Hold on, wait. He already I'm sorry, got for the one. Points. All right, the physical Let's copy for with, what? Uh, or do you do you? Kirk, what album? Infest by Papa Roach. Yes, I do. One sec. No, it's fine. We if we're gonna no, it, it, it is we're going. I mean, it is we're going. My bad. It, 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 it it's we're going. Yeah, he's right. He's right. Hold on. All right, no, let's open the booklet. No, I no, you're you're right. I just looked no, no, at no, it. No, yeah, no, no, we know I you're want, right. I want to crack the booklet open, <laughs> and I want to see this in the booklet. Come on. Oh, uh, this this booklet is so terrible. Uh, we're going to infest. Oh, fair enough. Oh, let's go. Okay, good. 
either way, it's terrible. Moving right. along. Yeah, moving along, moving along. But those were my yes. points. I just, you know. But I don't, don't worry. I, finish the lyric, 200. All right, finish the lyric, 200. Inflict strain upon the structure, collapsing below my pressure break of the holiday. Edge crusher. I of mean, course. I, I don't want to linger on the yes. question, but it is going to. Infect. Not a new metal band. Not a new metal. But that's band, a new yep. metal song. No, no one here is going to fight. That. But the song is amazing. And that's what that's what. Not really a matters. new metal song. Not a new metal band. Stop <laughs> your nonsense. Here we go. This man, this man is sitting on the sidelines. OK, Kurt, you're up next. Uh, I was listening to that band when you were like 10. Stop it. <laughs> new adjacent 600. <laughs> new adjacent 600, which experiment rockers from sacramento oh. released their self-titled record in 08 with a feature of chino moreno and the single uneasy hearts way the most orion dance gavin dance baby yeah, oh. Oh. great band great man. you're gonna have to tell Dude, that I sub later them. i can grab the cd from my shelf you- i'm kidding <laughs> you have to tell that sub later because man i did not know that shit all right all right oh uh new adjacent 800 Five Omaha and Shuffle Rockers moved from Nebraska to LA in 92 to record the first, first album music in which they would later release 12 more. John Oliver uh, described them on. as the Beatles of rap rock. Holiday. Dude, don't fuck this up. Don't Yo, you this. gotta be fucking kidding me. If you can't Are you kidding this. me? If you do this, I'm kicking you out of the chat. <laughs> or out of the, the meeting. <laughs> answer the question. Oh, you buzzed in. No. Do the answer. <laughs> Come on. Who is 311? There you go. Oh, I 311's got the bad y'all. <laughs> oh, thank Christ. I was like, I was like super certain on it. And then there was I had a second there. Shuffle rock. Shuffle okay. rock. Interesting. Okay. Yes, they, they I have are. never heard that term. Those first that five is not at all garbage albums garbage are amazing. Band. No, you're wrong. Oh, horrendous. Totally okay. wrong. Not that bad. Before we get crazy. All right. And I mean, uh, the lyric was, we're con- we're going to. In fact, like, you know, <laughs> it was a whole like, different word. I'm I didn't with, mix up system adjacent. of a down lyrics. I'm going to go with three, new adjacent mister. for a thousand. I'm going to new adjacent for a thousand. All right. New adjacent known as Tool Clones, which Canadian band met on an internet message board with eventual 2006 release of the melody and the energetic nature of volume. Shout out to Orion. Their following album featured Ke- vocalist Kevin Madison as well, but then was later kicked from the band and joined Texas based band Parabell. Detox. Evans Blue. That's right. Oh, yeah. man. Excellent. I knew that. I have never I wouldn't have gotten, heard no, I didn't this know fucking that. band. I didn't heard of that band? No. They're okay. The gotcha. thing that got me there was when you said parable. So good. All right. Uh, t- t- detox. You're up. Uh, we're in dark territory for me here. Um, Rage Against the Machine for a thousand. Screw it. Who is Holiday Kirk? Let's Ooh, go. Where did Tom Morello receive his political science degree with oh, honors? God. Oh, God. That's easy. <laughs> oh, Are you kidding me? No God, one so hitting me. I hate everyone. I'm no longer a fan of anyone. Nobody <laughs> wants the We're negative all thousand, Everyone's dude. Dumb. Nobody wants the negative Mate, thousand. This is, e- this is the easiest Don't even question. Know. What? No. Is it Harvard? Of course it's Harvard. Of course Come it's on. Harvard. Come on. Man. No, okay, dude, we don't the want the, the negative on our hands, though. Like, I don't want a negative 1,000 points. Yeah, bro. We could oh, get, maybe we could have guessed Harvard. But... <laughs> all right, the talks. <laughs> Next question. Uh, 2020s, 200. 2020, 200. Which artist in 21 released album title track <laughs> Come Here and Ponder, also playing Colleen, Texas in someone's basement on November the 11th, 2022? Smirk. Wait, what? Okay, fine. <laughs> Bro, you have a typo on your tour page. Get your shit together. Hang on. I'm it trying says, to think of the answer to this one. 10, it says 10 11, but it's 11. It's uh, it's November. Who is Holiday Kirk? <laughs> okay, I have to know when you yeah! say my people in Paris, are you literally just shouting out Playmo? Playmo, I was is it literally so, just a Playmo like a reference. No, so the intro part of it, I was like a little drunk and goofing around, and it was just one take. Like, I, I, I don't know, you ever just record a thing in one take and you're like, that sounds cool. Did I just like, triggered no. him out to the moon and he just bounced. No, he, he had done. I think, I think his bucket <laughs> below his chair filled up. He has to use the bathroom. Okay, good. All right. Anyway, shout out to me for getting my own question right. Think. Uh, shout out Holiday Kirk here on the board. Ryan didn't even buzz in. He had no idea. I did buzz in. Yeah, he did. He did buzz in. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it on here. I'm sorry. I must actually everyone buzzed in, didn't they? I thought I saw everyone buzz in. Everyone yeah, everybody did in. buzz in. 
All right, let me get a Rage Against the Machine for 800. Damn, we got the Rage. worst The worst you can. 800. What song begins to play as Neo flies into the air after making a phone call to the machines? Holiday. Jesus Christ. This would be a uh, wake up. Yeah, that is correct. Excellent work. All right, next question. Rage Against the Machine, 600. Label Money Grab Renegades was released <laughs> with not all the members' permission in 2000. What cover originally written by Bruce Springsteen, The Boss, in 95 was featured on the album that refers to John Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath. What is Holiday. the ghost of Tom Joad? Good job. All right, you deserve to, to take We're this in. We're getting now. Good job. I'm proud of you. Yeah, there's no way. I've got to get all had of to the get, 2020s well, we have the, There's still the final Remember, Jeopardy there's thing. Still yeah, there's still Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy. I had to oh, get deep okay. into this second beer before I really like unlocked the, uh, the knowledge. All right. Rage Against the Machine 400. I found y'all's weak points, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what side project did Zach De La Rocha and John Ooh. Theodore start in 2008 with singles such as Wild International Now and If You Fear Dying Holiday? One day as a lion. That's correct. Boom! Take it away. All right. Well, well, I, I remember right the lion. I just right remember here, the rest of the name. What I've was never Tom, even heard a song what was, by them. Oh, what was Zach's God. first band? This is my new favorite beer, y'all. This is my new favorite beer. It is unlocking the deep lore oh, up in here. I Whoa. demand to see your screen. Oh, yo, okay. yo let, let's do one. this. We're, we're going to do this real quick. Let, let's see who really knows their shit. So, so you get an extra 500 points if you can answer this one. Is it? Ha can we do this? Yeah, yeah why not? No, yeah, what the it. fuck? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we're gonna do. Since 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 holiday is such a smart ass. Well, let's do this. <laughs> what was Zach's first band? I don't know. Mm. Pass. Youngins. Oh, the youngins. Timer wasn't even up, but there yeah. it is. It's going. It's going. Wait, wait, wait for it. And the Tim, tell them. Educate Inside the young yeah. Oh, how do you guys right not know I that? Just, I just want to say that I thought what he meant was the band was called Youngin. <clears throat> yeah, and Maynard would go to those shows. Yeah. Oh, if if, if, if this was the, the uh, if this was the Axe to Grind podcast, there'd be people screaming and yelling right that's now. That's crazy. You guys didn't like, get that's, Inside Out. That's great lore because like Maynard plus Zach De La Rocha is like that's new metal. Like, it's good to know. I'm just right, holiday. Which which flavor of 2020s do you want? You see, my problem is I know one of these is probably going to be related to. I'm actually surprised John didn't know that that answer. I yeah, I, my rage knowledge is not very good. Let's go. Eight I gave up on rage years they're ago. They're not they're not hardcore guys and like we are, Tim. Yeah, it's true. Bro, you gave up on rage. Okay, that's I'm not even gonna. I can't even go there. Hyper pop group 100 X covered which song from Hyper Theory in 21. In the music video, you'll find a cloaked Thanos glue gunning a house of cards. Oh, oh come uh, on, man. Crazy. Uh, what is uh, one step closer? He oh! buzzed in before the question was over. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, this he didn't. That's why I'm talking. Okay. Okay. Right. That's why I'm locking it. So you okay. almost can't, can't screw each other. Okay, holiday. Let's go with 2020s for a thousand. For a thousand. This is a good beer. What was the title of Code Orange's 2020 release, which was nominated mm. for a Grammy for Best Metal Performance? Not that that matters at all. Come on. No way. I don't Wait, like I thought that this was free. I don't know. I'm not looking right. it up. My hands are in there. I'm, I'm okay, Jay, you. tell them. Let them know. I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's uh, underneath. Is it underneath? Yeah, yeah, good job. Oh, underneath. my God. That album's trash. Right. Oh, yeah, time out, time out. Wait. The newest song is new metal, right? Like their yeah. newest song is straight new metal. I'm not even. I can't. I don't even remember what it question. sounds it like. This is. Oh, you're actually, right. That album is like... trash. What? It's no. They're um, such a no. boring band. Dude, so that's what? so boring. They are the most boring, overrated no. band in new no. metal. The no. only no, I like thing the I know record. about Code Orange was they're playing at the NXT shows a few times. No. So here's that's the it. thing: they put on an amazing live show. They're fun to watch. The problem the is great. Uh. I am King is great. Forever yeah. is great. Um, underneath is is I actually think it's great. My the problem is Jamie has an ego the size of the fucking Death Star. Yes, and they're not that good yet. So as talented as they are and as unique as they are, it's very off putting when he gets on stage and when he starts talking like that. It's like, yo, buddy, 
Come on. Yeah, no. Come on. My issue with the new song, other than the fact that it's pretty meh, is it's got that wiggly wee guitar solo in it. The wiggly wee. Write that down, Tim. Right? We all know it, right? It's a very hair metal guitar solo. No, you're you're hundred percent correct. Okay, last question. 2020, 600. That being said, Jamie, if you're <clears throat> listening, come on the show. R slash new metal states this record released in 2020 by Earache. Hit the reset button on the genre with single we the sad. What's the album and the band name, please. Orion. What is Matrifigy by Tala? Of course, yes. I was ready Great for record. that one, and then for a second, I forgot the name of the album. And I <sighs> Orion, record. if we team up and combine our scores, we're ahead of Holiday Kirk. <laughs> well, that's yes. how Final I'm, Jeopardy I'm willing to do works. that. All right. That's kind of how Final <laughs> right. Jeopardy works. This is how we are going to do Final Jeopardy. I am going to read the question you are going to type to me in chat, whisper me to your your answer to the question and your wager. How much points do you wager? If you get it I'm right, sorry, you get that many I points. If you get it wrong, you get minus. But just remember in the chat, you have to go only to Shane. Yeah, only yeah, to I'm, Shane. Don't okay. email every, Don't I am everyone. Okay. When I, I zoned out. I, I am. So I he's going to read the question and then you're going to I am to Shane in chat. Make sure you select Shane from the drop down. Your hold answer on. and your bid. Here's the deal. I wrote two questions. I, I'm going to say the first one, and I want Tim and Jay to be able to veto it because I have an alternate question. Okay. Like if the That's question fair. is shit, I want you. I, I want you to say that like, okay, that's not a good question. We're gonna do a, a, another one. Okay, so you guys get to choose that. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, and I wanted to keep it on theme because the last. Final Jeopardy was over Deftones. And so this one is also going to be over Deftones. All right. Might, ooh, all right. Final Jeopardy. The question is Deftones' sophomore record, Around the Fur, released in 97. What does Around the Fur <clears throat> mean? And if Jay and Tim actually want to. I'll lose, keep that. Tim, yeah, keep I that. I have an alternate. Absolutely. Keep that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Whisper me your answers and we'll go. Do you want me to go? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. You're doing it wrong. You know they have to whisper the answer and bet a certain yes. amount of yes. points, yeah. right? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. And he here's the thing about the question. If you are actually just in the zip code of the answer, you will get points. Like I, this is not going to be a verbatim. Yeah. Like this is not a, like a verbatim. Like if you uh, just understand the basic concept. Of, of what the, and this is not my opinion, this is directly from Chino's mouth. If you are anywhere in the zip code, you receive the points. All right. I haven't gotten anyone's answers yet. I just had holiday spending me with fuck you, dude. <laughs> uh, but uh ba 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 I need another beer. The cooler is almost empty. I need another beer and I need to switch something lighter. 15% porters are doing me in boom. Boom. Okay, I haven't received an answer from Caleb yet. I think I've I already sent you. Answer. I already sent my answer, so I'm just gonna look it up. I'm too curious. No, sh no, come on! I oh, gave him the Ryan. answer already. No, I know that, but we gotta wait. We all gotta. It stay ruins together. the excitement. It ruins the reveal. All, listen, everyone right. here has had enough time to cheat. We all could have done it, but we didn't. <laughs> I did not. No one. I don't think anyone else did. So oh, yeah, you didn't. Hands. You didn't put a bet. Hands in the air. I did put a fucking bet. Was it zero? Bet right beforehand. Oh. Uh, oh, you, did you bet? 22, is that what you bet? Listen, is I'm that not, what that says? You shut the fucking mouth. What you do? Okay, there's my bet. <laughs> okay. Is everybody in? I think everyone is in, right? Oh, man, this is... Okay, I don't the answer. In my life. The answer is, it is a double entendre for two metaphors. The first is their sound, which is abrasive yet soothing. And for two... For people being pretty on the outside and ugly on the inside, in both metaphors, uh, fur is referring to glamour and beauty out the, uh, out the outside of the skin and ugly. 
skin around the fur, the other side. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, so uh, we're going to go to first John uh, Detox, bet nothing and, and didn't uh, respond. Kirk bet five, which he loses five. So he's at seven, uh, seven, nine, five. Say my answer. What did His I say? Answer, he says vagina, which is not correct. <laughs> it's not, it has nothing to do with vagina. <laughs> you Caleb, all thinking it. The reference to fur coat as beauty, which actually is correct. So <laughs> nice. 2,600 for uh, Caleb. Nice job. And Orion did not bet anything. So our yeah. answer is holiday Kirk with seven seven nine five. <laughs> was it. Again. Wait, wait, God hold up. Damn, we got Detox and Ryan tied. How do we do a tiebreaker? Do tiebreaker my second my alternate um yeah uh, alternate question? Fuck it. What's our own show? We'll do our own rules. Hey, yep. Fuck it. Do you know how much is on the line for me? If I lose <laughs> oh, this, holiday, my you won. Timeout. As the CEO of the Metal already, Agenda, take it deep breath. Help desk. Won. Stop recording right now. No, you. Help desk. Hold down. This okay. is a tiebreaker for Detox and Orion. You're good to go. You got your crap. How about, so how about this? Easy, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. One, who, who's this between? It's between Detox John and Orion. and Orion. All right. If uh, This is what we're going to do. If one of you can name my favorite Deftones record, you that, that's going to break it right there. How about that? <laughs> yeah, they'll listen to Something the show. Something tells yeah. me you said it on our episode. I don't know if you guys are going to get it. So Can we uh, just get a quick round of I'm, applause for holiday. For I'm going to, I'm going to sell one. It's just one like answer. a little well, 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 congratulations. Shane, I'm going to send you my answer right now. Okay. okay. Holiday. Congratulations on winning. the episode. Let's, let's, let's do it like this because We're I'm all so proud of you. I don't think anyone's going to get this and love you. And just wanted to it's say it. how amazing that is. That you Wait, is it a, is it a weird choice? It's Tim. Interpret that as you will. Knowing Tim, can I say it? Am I muted? Yeah. Wait, wait. Can no, I... you gotta get your, your answers in. All right. Oh, I gotta send it. it to Shane. Yeah, yes. whisper to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Talks. Oh shit! Talks one. Yeah. Talks one. Good job. Good job. <laughs> he knows. What he was knows. It? Dude, also talks also got my alternate question, which mad. That means that I, I win. Too. Yeah. <laughs> No, Ryan would have got the ultimate win. question. I feel like we all would have got the. I would have said. I, I have twelve hundred points or twelve thousand points now. <laughs> I would have said sex. It would, you did not win. Oh, you did okay, not just in case win. anyone is curious, I don't five know. things. The five things Chino thinks about during the MX song is girls, money, new clothes, violence, and sugar. <laughs> oh shit! I would have got that wrong. Well, thank. I Christ, love that song. Go with the alternate. Of course, everyone loves that song. Wait, so what was what was the favorite album? Deftones. It was self-titled. Oh. Which is my least favorite oh. Deftones album. I put adrenaline because I know you're a hardcore guy. Really? Yes. That's your favorite that, choice, He said Tim? it was. He, yeah. No, it's because that I is. asked if it was weird and he said it was Tim. I was like, it's got to be the self-titled. See, I, well, I, listen, uh, if John knows listen. you better than I do, because I would have picked, I would have picked either Saturday Night Wrist or Koi No Yokan. Why Saturday Night Wrist? Because it's super depressing and. Well, no, because that's my favorite Deftones record. It's t it's typically hey guys, looked guys, at guys, as guys. one of their not great albums, and I still think it's brilliant. Like I really think it's brilliant, and they don't even like it. And Coin No Yokan was one of those. It was right. It was it was right after Diamond Eyes, right? So they've yeah. already made their. Quads the answer like is around the fur, and it's not even close. Right. But the answer. I gotta. Get I'm a basic I, bitch. I, it's I white pony. I need to leave. So can we just before I go? I just really wanted to say you need to leave. No, oh, it's like fucking seven o'clock no, there. Where are you going? Listen, before I go, I just wanted to say thank you so much for having me. And I need literally everyone here to say, Holly Kirk, congrats on winning. Please say, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you actually I, won. I need everyone to be like, hey, I got hey, both those bonus questions. I'm, I'm sure going to take Kirk. my mouth oh my God. shut. Thanks We're going to do a round three. So if so you better be winning. ready for round three. We are going to be doing really round three. Appreciate it. Is it all you need underground mind. questions? <laughs> So congrats to Holiday Kirk for winning. We know he. No, Tim and I are gonna. We are gonna send Shane Double so Jeopardy. Books and there's <laughs> Jesus Christ. So there's hard. going to be a column just on hardcore, and Tim and I are gonna do all the questions. Congratulations for winning, Kirk. Congratulations, yeah. Yeah. Holiday congrats, Kirk. You you killed it. Woo! The CEO of the New Metal Agenda wins, baby. Where's my air horn? Where's my air horn? That's it. I just just don't wear that shirt anymore. You don't like Papa Roach at all? No, no. I'm joking. I'm just fucking with you. All right, no. You're just fucking with me. All right. Well, I'm done with the... Uh, I don't actually have to leave either. I He's done with new metal. You heard it yeah, here. With new metal. I won, and now I'm retired. I'm a jazz man. Going back to Davis. indie rock.
Back to Indie Rock. Bonnie Bear. Caleb, I, I hope there you don't have a speaker on at home because you're you're literally on with a lot of foul mouth people here. So <laughs> yeah, thank God for headphones, right? <laughs> Whose was it that their wife came in and started yelling? Oh, it was Wojo yeah, from Wojo, uh, Before yeah. I Had Wings. <laughs> Good he, stuff. he definitely got yelled at. Yeah. All right. So um, I guess we will we will wrap it up. Holiday can leave and the rest of us can just hang out and make fun of Holiday. So um, we That'd hope be pretty all, easy. all of our listeners and all of our viewers on YouTube enjoyed this. I want to thank Holiday, Caleb, John, Orion uh, for coming on. I want to thank Shane for putting this together again. This was a lot of fun. We will definitely do an episode three. Holiday has to defend his title again. Um, Orion's going to double up on the lion's mane and the new tropics and totally just give himself galaxy brain and be able to smoke them. Uh, so email us next brief, time. Uh, if you have any uh, corrections, Unlock the secret power of the cat. Oh, be- before we go, the-, the people that actually do music in new metal, tell everybody where to find that stuff. Oh, we'll, yeah. We'll yeah, start with do. you. Please do. Holiday. We'll start with Holiday since he won. Since I did what now? Since you won, tell everybody where you can find your record, shows you're playing, all that kind of stuff. Please just follow me on Twitter, at Holiday Kirk. I know that that's really lame, and everyone says that, but I generally do try to keep everyone up with the best of the best new metal, and you can occasionally find my music there. But it's much more important that you listen to new metal than listen to my new metal. If you get around to that later, great. Otherwise, listen to new metal. All right, John. Uh, I have Detox Tube, which is my YouTube channel, but I do have music. It's just called Detox, D period T O X. Uh, the demos are in progress, nothing's out yet. Okay, Orion. Uh, you can find my two projects Drop Spike, YouTube, Spotify, Bandcamp, whatever, and the other one, Orion with three eyes. I've got multiple albums out under that project. You can find it on Bandcamp, streaming wherever you want. My YouTube channel is just Drop Spike. So, Caleb, any chance you're putting out music we should be aware of, or is that is that in the future? Uh, I'm working on some cool stuff with a few different projects right now, but as of now, nothing is public. All right. So when you when you do get something public, let us know. All right. Good idea. Definitely. Good idea. Definitely. All right. So uh, thanks for everybody for coming on the show. Thank you all of you listeners, watchers once again. Yep. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, Newbreed underscore podcast. Email is newbreedpodcast at gmail.com. Please send us any corrections, attention, editor. We do take those things very, very seriously. Uh, and until next time, I want to say thanks to everybody. Uh, and this is the New Breed Show saying talk to you next time. Cheers. Cheers.